You go no go for long. G'day, Shah here once again with four wheels on the road, helping you get the most out of your time away. This trip away, we're asking the question once again, go or no go? We're out here at Waterfall Creek Reserve. We just wanted to take a quick look around the area and see what's on offer for you. If you decide to come and check it out, let's go take a look. Waterfall Creek Reserve Campground is uh, situated at the base of Mount Barney. It's around about an hour and a half south southwest of Brisbane. There's access for two-wheel drive vehicles to get down here. It's a sealed gravel road for about the last 5k in to the site itself and it's a lovely drive to get down here. Basically if you've been in the area before you head towards Lake Maroon and uh, turn off just before you arrive at Lake Maroon. One little thing to just be aware of before you uh, head off to Waterfall Creek is that there are flood markers on the couple of little uh, water crossings before you get into the area. So just be aware of that. The area does flood. The area there is actually really, really nice and, um, you know, nice little place to just chill out. Not only that, but you're close to some other areas as well. You, you're very close to Lake Maroon here. There's plenty of different other camping spots you can also get to from here also. You can get to Big Riggin. Uh, you can also head off to a couple of other different places around the, around the area as well. So it's a great little area. In terms of amenities here, there are none, none at all. So it's definitely a self-sufficient camping situation. So you need to have your own uh, bathroom with you and your own water with you. But other than that, it's a really well set out area. As you can see here from the pictures, uh, there's fire pits that are all set up throughout the area here and uh, a whole heap of sawn off logs for sitting around and uh, chilling out in front of the fire. So it's pretty well set up. Uh, Apart from the fact that there's no toilets, but um, you know, with a lot of these sites that are available through Parkspot DES, they're very, very cheap. So they're only six or eight bucks a night. So it's not a lot of money to come and uh, you know get to just enjoy nature and really nice area. Loads of bird life around the place. Saw a couple of kangaroos this morning early, so that was quite nice as well. Another thing you may want to consider if you're staying in the area here and you have a four-wheel drive is you also have access to the upper portals. You'll see up in the top right-hand corner of your screen, uh, recently we've gone to lower portals and checked out the camping area and the swimming holes there. If you have a four-wheel drive, you can actually drive all the way up to uh, upper portals and check out the swimming holes there with uh, just a small walk at the end of the uh, drive. So it's a good access point here as well for that. To be honest, there's not really a lot to do here. You've just got the creek, which is just down here. But the biggest draw card I'd have to say for me personally is the fact that there's nobody here. There is not one single person here, and I didn't even see anybody in on the road in. So, beautiful, quiet area, and it's lovely and relaxing here. I just spent the night here and uh, just chilled out and had a great old time. There's not a soul around, no cars anywhere. Uh, Lots and lots of birds in the area, which is beautiful, so um, really lovely area. Definitely a place I'd recommend. Let me know what you think. Is it a go or is it a no-go? Leave some notes in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road.